Okay guys, we are back today with this 2006 Mercury Grand Marquis. Now this particular one is an Ultimate Edition. I really don't know how they go on the levels here, but anyways, it looks like it's decently equipped. You have nice chrome 16 inch wheels here. You have pinstriping going along the side right over here. Um, this one appears they have a light window tint as well. It looks to be poorly done. Um, but looking at this one, they're asking almost eight grand for this. It has a lot of miles on it. Um, it's a pretty steep price, but anyways, here it is. It's in a nice white color as well. You really don't see these on lots anymore, and they're really going extinct. Um, as the plan through platform was cut off in 2011. This is an 06. This is the last refresh this car got. Heated exterior mirrors. You have some mud flaps on this one as well. This one looks probably more loaded because it does have fog lights down there. And they are halogen, of course. And I really like the Mercury's. It's too bad they had to end them. But anyways, you do have a keyless entry right here. And coming out into the interior. You do have really nice tan leather interior. And of course, it's just, it's a big couch. So, we'll step on in here. And I'm surprised I haven't owned one of these at some point. I'm sure I definitely will. But, um, I mean, they're just big boats. I mean, all your power seating controls are over here. Heated seats, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, and your speaker right there and your trunk pop right there. You have some carpet over here. And everything else is really decently put together for what it is. It's all soft touch. It's, it's a little um, mid 2000s sloppiness as far as gaps go, but they weren't too concerned about that back then. And what I did notice about the carpet here is the carpets they used in the Lincolns and the Mercury's was a really nice high pile carpet. Um, this one is a little worn down, but it's just a really nice materials they used um, considering what they do use today. You have a wood grain leather wrapped wheel. As you can see, it's a little wore down right there, but the gauges are really nice. You have automatic headlights with your fog lights right there and gauge dimming. Everything is a soft, hard touch material. So um, all that, you do have your climate controls right here and your radio and your defrost and your controls are up here for your mileage and stuff like that. Home link, and you do have a lighted vanity mirror as well and your console or a, your armrest in this case. Your console would probably be that more or less. Um, this one is a, well, a smoker. Uh, and you have some sort of aftermarket temperature gauge, I'm assuming, right there. And your owner's manuals and such right there. And it is damped the wrong way. So um, there's that. And you see the passenger side as well. The leather is really soft and nice material. Again, this one is a little worn down, but no big deal. And a hood pop right here. We'll see if that does the latch. Coming to the rear, I didn't really have the seat adjusted, but we'll pop back here real fast. And definitely the cushions are really nice and soft. And you have a cup holder and armrest right here. And again, carpeted cargo tray up there and you have some lights over here that do turn so dual mat pockets back here and there's the front real fast just a basic comfortable um, full-size American luxury car again I do have decent I do have decent leg room for the seat being far back and again you do have a hump as this is rear wheel drive and a steering wheel cover down there uh, materials all do fall through and I'm assuming this would be a ashtray for your Lincoln Town car Check out the trunk. This is the strong suit in these things, as you can see. It's a little creaky, but once you're back here, you can definitely, again, throw some bodies back here, as they all say. Um, you have a latch right there. I say this car's worth a solid four grand, not a penny more. So we'll pop the hood right here. This is a 4.6 liter V8. It's probably got around 230 horsepower. I know the police versions had 250, give or take. But here it is. It's a really reliable engine. Not much to say about it. It's just a big old V8. And the struts are blown out on this. So good luck getting eight grand for this thing. But hey, as usual, guys, I wanted to bring you this Grand Marquis as you don't see them a whole lot anymore. So thanks for watching, guys.